Let's play subterranean animals and I'm tired. Back in the day, like, in high school, I beat it with every single character type. Then I had to get into the computer and I didn't carry the save over. <coughs> I don't like beating normal with the Ikari type on normal. <coughs> also, I'm still recovering from a cold, so I've been coughing for the past week. This game has fantastic music and some really fun boss fights. And I really like it. First one I ever played. There's some fairies that have some really rude patterns. I like to redirect them up because they're a pain otherwise. These are the fairies. If you can kill all of them with a normal character, you'll get two power. Immediately before Kisume. But, uh, Marissa A is weird. You kill Kisume quickly, you'll get some extra power from these enemies. <coughs> you good, you graze these, and that lets you get the auto collect. This one's got interesting mechanics. If you graze enough things in a short period of time, you just instantly collect everything as if you're at the point of collection. It's really handy. Also, you get just a permanent increase to your blue item scroll multiplier for every, I think, 100 graze. Yeah, there's the button. Try to find the button to speed him through. Alice is the most of Alice trap type is also especially weird because your shots are more focused when you're not using focus movement. <coughs> Kinda makes it a pain to some extent. To uh Maximize your damage output. You see when you're going to focus, it's going everywhere, and I'm barely putting any of those shots on Yamame. It actually has fairly good power if you can correctly position and also stay in the fast movement. music in this game. Every single song is fantastic. I don't know how he did it. The very first time I ever played this, I blew all my continues trying to get through stage one on I want to say easy, but I'm not sure. Because it's seriously been like six or seven years. Here's Par Se. I think there's a way to trivialize this pattern. But I'm not sure what it is. More important is Green Eyed Monster. You just want to move around so you waste as much time as possible. Yeah, on the second one, I'm not going to have any difficulty. That might just be because <coughs> Mars has got pretty good power. And in this segment, you want to go on the opposite end from where they're coming from <coughs> with your unfocused shot. And at the end, I just get a good focus because I'll hit everything. Per se, some cool patterns. Kind of gimped on easy mode. 
Just a shame. Good team. Here's sort of the setup, I guess, if you call it. Oops. Probably should have done that a little bit better. Anyway, this game, resource mechanics are you use power to <coughs> activate spell cards. I sound like I'm dying, but I'm honestly fine. Anyway, that's how you bomb. And you get life fragments by doing the attacks without dying. This particular spell really sucks. With Marissa, because when you shoot the fake per se, she lets loose a bunch of bullshit. And it's very difficult to not hit her. Because that's what murders you. Anyway, if you successfully do the spell, I think as long as you don't die, you get the life fragment. I'm not exactly sure, it's been a long while. Stage 3. It's pretty hard, entirely because of these enemies. Not these ones specifically, but the ones like them, you know? <coughs> you're lacking on power, you go to the left side, and you can build up the graze off this stuff if you get the graze um, streaming correctly. Is so, like, the lasers? It's static. Completely unthreatening in every way. The only issue is the aim blue shots. Here's Yugi. She has lots of static patterns on her non spells. You can get a lot of grays, which is nice. Here's a spell that you want to start directly beneath her on every um, wave. If you're off at an angle, it'll cause him to bounce off you and fuck you up. Here's another spell, it's completely static. You just want to find the openings and sit in them. Now she's going to sit there in the middle of the screen and just fuck with you. None of her shots are even aimed at you, at least on normal. I mean, they are ostensibly aimed at you, but nothing directly. They always go, you know, right around you. Just worry about the lasers, really. And on spells usually revolve around these, um, whatever they're called. These boards. All her spells have no serious theming to speak of. And this one, she. Oop. Not supposed to break that if you can help it. Kind of difficult with Marissa. Anyway, uh. In that one, she makes the rings. In the second one, she's not gonna do that. That was me not positioning in the safe spot. Completely static, so there's a specific path that's just perfectly safe. You always use it, it gets you lots of grays. Can you storm on Mount no, Oh Oh? Oh, yeah, I think, actually. I like to do this one completely unfocused. Not because of the extra damage output, but just because the speed is helpful for not dying. Here's a fairly challenging non-spell. 
I'm not really sure what to do on this. It's been a long time, so I don't remember. Knock out in three steps. And this one, you gotta stay at the bottom for a moment. <coughs> gotta do her things. Look for the gap in the blue ones. And the red ones can sometimes just slide across like that. I think these cannot spawn on you. I'm not gonna take that risk, just to be sure. There we go. Got our stage four. <coughs> Pretty hard stage if you don't know what you're doing. I, mean, I guess that's the case with most Toho stages, honestly. But on the other hand, I do think there's like you know, there's good mechanics. People can sight read Toho. If you just you have a good grasp of the basics of CPC. On this, all you really gotta do is move very slightly and stay in the center. The talismans are aimed. Blue balls are just straight down. Here's some dudes that you can build up a ton of grays on if you let them go through. And here's a kitty. I hate this kitty. He's a jerk. You want to kill as many of the spirits as you can, if possible. Because at the end, they shoot at you. And if you don't kill enough, you get wrecked. Get the shotgunner up in the face. Get my life pregnant. Here's some dudes that are not super dangerous. If you know, you just need to move the tiniest bit to dodge them. And here's a long streaming section. All you gotta do: dive over to the side at the end. Death bomb because you goofed. But all you really gotta do is just move to the side and then restream, and you get you know like a quarter of the way to the edge. You have a good opportunity to use that crazy. And here's the easy part. You move backwards, you move to the left, and you move to the right. And you dodge that little bit. And then you bomb this. Because it's a little bit of a pain and you get plenty of power back. Here's Satori. Her gimmick is her attacks are different depending on which character you have supporting you. Since I have Alice, I'm going to have some of Alice's spells. Which is pretty neat. The only thing is that the, uh, the first spell is always this one. Which is not super hard. It's kind of claustrophobic at certain points. That. And a fairly tricky non spell. And you just gotta weave through the path. It opens up right there. But it is, you know, fairly tight for normal mode. And here's a fun spell from Alice. It's really easy, actually. It's not random. A, you know, if you look at Satori, there's definitely a pattern going on. Or at the very least, it's symmetric. Here's one that I screwed up a little bit. All you gotta do in this one is stream. You gotta restream pretty early, though. Let's see. The longer this goes, the faster it gets, I think. Yeah. Alright. Did not least really spin quite right on that. We 
and this one's really annoying. You have to dodge this stuff that comes from every direction except below you. Probably just gonna bomb this one a lot. I also believe it's pretty much completely random, which is a pain. Kind of annoying, you know? Here's also where Marissa A's extremely low focus shot damage is an issue. Back in high school, I could actually perfect this game all the way up to this stage's boss, and then I'd just lose everything. Here's a part where I like to kill this stuff, even though it has revenge bullets. Use the greys to collect. And this is kind of a stage where you don't want to shoot too much. If you have enough power. These guys are interesting because they're an inversion of how these sorts of things usually go. <laughs> normally you're supposed to have... Well, not supposed to, but normally these sorts of things are very slow <coughs> wings of bullets. Some relatively fast um, that's it. streaming bullets. Here's a hilarious part of the level where you just ignore everything, you sit still, and you don't have to deal with anything. It's super easy. It's a difficult pattern, but you kind of need to be very careful with. Here's another one that's a little bit tricky. You've got these little lanes near the end. But at the beginning, it's just nearly going to spiral. But. <coughs> Here's Cat Swap. Kind of sucks. Unless you know the trick. Follow it here and stop. Go over to the corner. You figure out where to go to dodge. And then you bomb, anyways, because you can it. It's okay. Bombing is good. We need YOLO in the second cycle. And here's some really annoying enemies that you need to kill. You need to caps lock stuff quickly, you don't have to deal with them. There's an interesting streaming section that is fairly difficult unless you have a ring with Yukari. Then you can actually just stream and then go through the gap. And then once again, sit still. Because all those spirits, the only time they shoot is if you, you kill them. It's all revenge bullets. And these things just have their, I guess it's technically static, but you know, not super hard pattern. You let all these things explode. Tiniest bit. And for the last one, I like to go to the center. Because <coughs> then they all reach you both at the same time. Here's the kitty. She's fucking jerk. <coughs> I hate her. She is my least favorite boss in the entire series. I do not know how to do any of her fucking patterns. She's just bad. I don't know. I never learned it. Like, I can handle show. And show is widely considered one of the hardest. Because curving lasers fucking everywhere. But show is not really that hard for me. Green is huge pain. I forgot you did that. God damn it. Your spleen eater, it's really fun. The really hard part is you gotta make sure you position it correctly. You have to do like a very specific range of distances from the center. So you're not getting fucked. 
fault is really easy normally, which I'm bad, I guess. This is a pattern where I have no idea what I'm doing. Should be fairly simple, really. <coughs> but I'm done. I hate this boss so much. You're not in the corner house. I'm just gonna bomb it on the first wave. To ensure that I collect the items. The rings of dudes are aimed at you on normal mode. On easy mode, they actually always miss you. Going the only bombs for the one that I actually need to move on. There's a trick to this one. I don't know it. But I think it's something like this. I think you want to go pacifist. Sort of. So yeah, that was a fairly good run, reduced to garbage but fucking kitty. Grab as much power as you can there. That's the only power you're gonna get for a long while. You just leave it on focus. This is like the longest Training section in the entire series. I actually didn't need the bomb there. You need to try and avoid letting them get on me like that. That's gonna get you killed if they get low to the screen. And then the cat comes back. It's a really fun, but very simple pattern that I'm probably going to die on because it's been so long and I'm not used to the timing. I think I'm hard and loose if you actually have to go unfocused for a moment, which is very difficult. You can build up an ass load of grace here though, which is nice for scoring. Okay. Step uh, spirit fairies, you just bomb them. Because they've got a ton of power. There's basically no reason not to. You actually make a profit on it, which is good. And here's it's uh, supposedly the easiest uh, final boss in the series. I don't know. I was surprisingly a hard time with her. The repose, they say that she starts off with the hardest attacks. <coughs> and then goes to the easier ones. And I suppose that is technically true. By the way, you have to misdirect these. Or sort of go, you know, bottom center to corner. To bottom center to corner, back and forth. Load of health for some reason. Get a great boss thing though. One of the best in the series. This attack's really hard. You have to very quickly read where you can go without getting killed.
hang timing a lot too. It's not so good. Bad spot to be. Which does the aim shots again. <coughs> Honestly, I think this is the hardest attack she has. Because the uh, it's very easy to lose the blue orbs among the enormous suns. And then you get fucking in. So good at making all these interesting boss fights. I haven't actually managed to do the final boss of the Legacy of Limited Kingdom because that game is designed around point device mode, which I hate. But uh, what I've seen is that she is the most boring final boss in existence, and I hate that. It makes me not even want to bother. You know, all, the, all the cool shit he does, like the ability of the character, where you actually get bigger for a survival card. That's cool. I love it when he does cool stuff. Like, look at this. This is interesting. This is unique. This is not in any other bullet hell game. Or at least not any at the time. Maybe someone else copied it. Didn't need the bomb there. There is a safe spot on a horizontal level between these suns somewhere. I don't know it. You can use it to just move horizontally, left and right, to avoid the other shots. <coughs> these beats are using a significantly easier, for the most part, non spell attack. Probably like streaming that in the wrong way. It's better if I go to the right because afterwards there's more space over here, you see. So you're less likely to get on. And then we kill her in this next pass. Maybe it's the Heaven Hell meltdown. Hell and Heaven meltdown. <coughs> I think Utsuro can actually kill you by bumping into you, which is horrible and really shitty. She mostly just tries to stay above you, because Zoom is not generally a huge asshole and is aware that this is extremely difficult to do super dense and it'd be unreasonable to expect you to actually hit her. So he just sort of cheats and lets her go to you. That's a fairly difficult spell. So he react. Lisa is taking no damage. I think the issue is this still operates on like the uh, system where you build up damage rate, so to speak. Out. Yep, okay. And here's Hill's Artificial Sun. This is her final attack. It's hard. So, uh, I mean, a lot of people would probably say this is the easiest final attack that any final boss has in a Toho game. <coughs> I don't know. I don't have a super difficult time with Toyo Sato Mini no Mikos. The trick is that you just want to move back to avoid the big red bullets and just let it sort of pull you through the uh, 
the little ones that are coming outwards. And you try not to bomb if you can help it. There we go. Get it. <coughs> Get it while coughing like a dingus. And also really tired because I got like four hours of sleep last night. And I woke up about 20 hours ago. No, 21. Subterranean Ammonism. There's a typo in these credits. <coughs> anyway, that's Subterranean Ammonism. I sound a lot worse than I am. Just take my word for it. Really good credits music, too. I like it a lot. Still has probably my favorite music in the series. I really like UFO 2. The big problem that I have with UFO is the uh, resource mechanics. <coughs> They're a pain. There's an enormous pain, and it's kind of not fun. They're also not super hard. I think you have to sort of memorize it. Anyway, thanks for watching. I'm gonna go sleep and hopefully that'll make me not sound like I'm dying. <coughs> Gosh. Sorry for all that coughing. See you next time on Tired Commentary.